How to forge iron when the steel mills are silent, your last knife is broken, and the world is turning to dust. Your last good knife just snapped. The handle is in your hand, the blade is in the dirt. You can't make a spear, you can't prep food, you can't defend yourself. You are surrounded by metal, but it is all dead. It's rust. Subscribe, and I'll teach you the forbidden science of resurrecting dead metal. Today, we perform alchemy. We're turning a rust back into iron. First, collect the skin of the dead world. Scrape that orange cancer off of cars, bridges, and forgotten tools. You need a lot, a bucket full of failure. Grind it into a fine red powder, the dust of civilization. Next, find aluminum, hands, oil, engine block, the silver ghosts of the old world. You need to turn this into a powder too. This is your punishment. Grind it, file it, until you have a pile of shimmering dust. Mix them, roughly three parts rust dust to one part aluminum dust. Now, find a container that won't melt. The ceramic tank from a shattered toilet works beautifully. A crucible of civilization's end. Poke a small hole in the bottom of your toilet crucible. Put your powder mix inside. This reaction needs a violent push to start. A normal fire is too cold. Scavenger road flare. A magnesium strip. This will be your trigger. Stand back, far back. This is not a campfire. This is a tiny, furious star. Like the fuse, the thermite will ignite with a blinding white light. Do not look directly at it unless you're done with having retinas. This is the sight. The aluminum is violently ripping the oxygen away from the iron oxide. It's a chemical war, and the prize is molten iron. A stream of liquid fire will pour from the hole in the bottom. That glowing liquid is your prize. Pure liquid iron. Let it cool into a ugly, pockmarked lump. That lump is potential. It's a nail, an arrowhead, a new knife. You didn't just find a tool, you forged the idea of a tool from the world's corpse.